Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm playing against International Master Deep Strategy from Australia. Let's see who he is. Playing the London system. Uh, can't really say why, but uh, let's see what happens. So, just going with some logical moves. There's actually a lot of sting, or venom, I should say, behind the London system, as opposed to what many people think. And uh, this bishop on c8 especially is uh, weak in this type of position, so it's important for uh, black to be careful. Now, I'm always not sure. Eh? Does he want knight f5? I think I should go bishop d3 back immediately. So let's see. Justin Tran from Australia. Okay, so this is the normal position in the London. And uh, I'm not too sure how to proceed. Let's try queen e2. It looks like a logical move. Although, maybe I can just castle. I want to get some knight e5 followed by f4 at some point. But I'm not sure whether or not I should exchange the bishops first. The typical strategical idea here is to exchange one bishop for a knight. And then... Uh, Re somehow remain with a knight against this type of uh, bishop on b7. It seems like I did something wrong, though, allowing this knight jump. If I take a knight g5, can he protect it? I'm not sure. I guess we'll have to, ch to see for ourselves. I'm attacking e4, and if he goes f5, I have e6 hanging. But, um, yeah. If he takes on g3, probably it's a good idea to take with the f-pawn. Because if I take with the h-pawn, he goes queen d5. Then knight e4, he has f5. And the g2 is mate. So I'll take with the f-pawn. Now it seems like... Oh, actually, it works all the same, to my surprise. Knight e4, f5, and I don't have a square. Ah, I can go back to g5. I thought I only had to go knight f2, and then queen g2 is still mate. So this is an interesting uh, situation. I, I looked at this position uh, in the London at some point, and I don't recall black having this idea of playing knight e4, so it's either bad or just that I uh, mixed the move order somehow in the opening. And let's assume that I didn't, so this should be one of the possible ways uh, to challenge black. I mean, when they play knight e4 and move the piece, same piece twice, before finishing the development, it's usually the first thought that should come to mind is how to punish them. And taking a knight g5 seems to trap this pawn, so otherwise he would just get a 5 in next and uh, have some space. Okay, now I can take the pawn. And I'm not sure what he wants. Maybe h6 followed by f5 related ideas. But then I can go g4. Okay, so he's going for a simple compensation. So g4 makes sense to me. To... Yeah, to keep the g3 square for my knight. It takes... I should take with the e pawn. Now e5, I assume, is his idea. He wants to take here, of course. Which is a good idea. Can't really protect it. Can I do anything else? I really feel like being creative. But I don't see how. Okay, I can move my knight. But then I cannot take on e7, like I want. So, maybe I can get c4 in after he takes. And yeah, this is not promising. No, or at least not as promising as I hoped for it to be. g4 was not the most precise. Okay, what can I do now? 
move something, he takes. So let's do this. Just develop. And if he takes on d4. Ah, actually, I could take on e5. I don't know why I missed it. I thought this knight was hanging and it wasn't. <laughs> yeah. Now it seems less attractive, but I still have to take something. I don't want to allow ed. Can I just go knight b3 or knight f3? f4. Wow, this is weird. I want to take simply and see what happens next. He takes. No, I wish I could move one of my pieces. If I move the knight, knight d3 is deadly. Okay, let's play this. T pinning the knight on e5, hoping to untangle myself somehow next. I have a minute less on the clock as usual, so I should uh, increase the pace the pace by a little bit. I'm not sure what's my next move. If I move the knight, and now it prevents my counterplay. Can I move this knight? Also, want to go g5. Let's hope for the best. So if he takes, I'm not sure what's my response gonna be. Probably rook g5. So I'm kind of helping him to open up his the file for his rook. And this one allows this. I don't see any reason to complain. Now this knight is hanging. F6 pawn is under attack. Suddenly my position is good. <coughs> Well, maybe I shouldn't pre-move such moves. Not very likely he will take there. Queen d3 is what I would play as black. If I had a choice. Yeah. Now I don't want to exchange, because it gets good counterplay. But maybe I have to. If I move the queen, I don't have much time to think also. Okay. Let's just grab the material and try to hang on. We can go g6 probably, move the rook to some positive square. It right, lets me grab more and open up the position. Alright, I'll take it. So, what's his plan? Just to allow this. Yeah, I don't really have an idea how to improve my position. Let's go back. Praying knight to g5. Not sure if it's so good, but it's at least to try for something to take h7. So I assume he wants to grab a2. And now I want to give a check. And see where it, where I can take this position. Okay, 35 seconds. Yeah. Let's play fast. Bullet mode. <laughs> wow. It's almost mating. Yeah. <sighs> Looks really blunderful for my opponent. Okay, let's take this guy and then think. I don't have a yeah. threat. But I don't think that he does. Time warning. Check. Okay, it's almost mate. Do I have a follow up? H5 is a mate idea. So we should probably take at some point. So I'll try to Check. avoid it. Check. Check. Is he Check. mating me somehow? I hope not. 
Uh, what's the draw? I won't allow it. Check. Oops, what was this? That's terrible. Oh my god, it's so good in time pressure. This prevents all my counters play. And now he allowed me to draw. White and he won on time. Uh -huh. I was a bit naive here. I thought he would just take the draw with b5. Wow, what a finish for an interesting game. So, let's have a quick look at what happened here. So I played London, we got a normal position more or less. This is the regular main line, I would say. There are many ideas here for white. One of them being bishop d3, one is uh, with knight e5, bishop d3 and castles. Bishop d3 followed by e4, I believe, is possible. Yeah, there are many pioneers to this opening uh, that uh, like this type of positions. Yeah, so here, I'm not sure if castles is the most precise, let's check. What the computer has to say. Um, yeah, taking on d6 is logical. And the uh, queen e2 is maybe not the best. You can take on g3, go back to c6, try to prepare e5. I guess I should have taken on d6 with any chance I got and gone and went knight e5 later. So now this became a bit sharp all of a sudden. And here, play this g4 move, which wasn't precise, just developing. Ah, but a2 is hanging. So actually, a4 makes a lot of sense. g4, allow this. And now I wanted to take. Knight g6 is the best. Now, ed4, of course, gets the pawn back with some uh, advantage for black. Instead, he played knight g6, which transposed to this idea. Now, bishop c8, we both missed, I guess. This move allowed g5, this move allowed rook f1, and now suddenly I'm much better, or at least slightly better. Yeah, f7 check followed by rook e5 would have been even stronger, but it's hard to evaluate in this time control. Check. And here I check. don't have a big advantage, so check. I just repeated, check. went for knight g5, and check. somehow tried to check. find my way in the complications, which wasn't check. easy, I have to admit. I felt like I should be completely check. winning. But here it's Check. yeah, rook e7 was the move. Just couldn't. I want to play rook b7, but then suddenly knight e5 was scary for, for me. And king e4, knight e3. In fact, I have king e5, still very good for me. So, play this move instead. Check. Yeah, should have gone to f4 and once again to f5, but I missed it. Check. And here again, uh, Check. finally, Check. black got some counter play. Check. Check and allowed me to get Check. the winning position Check. but yeah I, I touched the rook and I didn't want to waste time in the time pressure king c2 was obviously a really good winning attempt and uh, yeah, after this I'm just lost Check. he gave me the rook Check. back later Check. for no reason and uh, flagged me which is a respectable way to win in a place with no increment so yeah probably the lesson from this game was once again to know what I'm doing in the opening here probably to know I should take on d6 and later on not to waste all my time uh, and not not missing uh, simple facts like the, the fact that after I take on e5 d2 is not really hanging and uh, yeah and later on also I mean the time pressure was just uh, uh, just confusing I mean it's not easy to draw any conclusions in this regard, I should just play faster earlier. So, uh, I hope you learned something from this game and enjoy watching it. And uh, if you want to learn some more, then uh, keep watching the next videos.